the money, so you better treat her right. He wants home. <laughs> What's so good about it? I didn't say good morning. Proving my point. <laughs> Oh, hey, Nora, I gotta get a present for Minerva Blount. It's her 60th year of teaching phys ed at Benjamin Halsey Junior High. You know, I always wondered, Howie, who was Benjamin Halsey? I don't know. There used to be a plaque, but somebody stole it. <laughs> Honey, why don't you give her one of Lily's baskets? Oh, I think you should think of another gift, Nora. After this basket, I'm, I'm getting out of the business. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. After Nora bankrolled this whole idea, printed your brochures and sent them out to all her clients, and then supplied you with half your business? I know she did, and I appreciate it greatly. And I feel that I've given the basket thing a go, you know? But I just, I can't picture myself doing it for the rest of my life. But you can't give up hope, Lil. I mean, it takes time to build a new business. That's not the only reason, Nora. Basket making has lost its joie. <laughs> I better leave the room. I don't want to hear what Nora's going to say to you. I wasn't going to say anything, Howie. Then you better leave the room. I don't want you to hear what I'm going to say to Nora. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. <laughs> After all you've done for her, you're just going to let her quit? Howie, you can't force people to do things they don't want to do. Yes, you can. What about that thing the other night? Well, honey, you didn't force me to do that. You begged. There's a fine line. Nora, she does irresponsible things all the time. You've indulged her her whole life. Damn it, I know, I know. It's just that, oh, sweetheart, there's just something about Lily that breaks my heart. Remember our wedding day, her sad little face watching us as we drove off on our honeymoon? She was just upset because I said she couldn't come along. Oh, I guess it's just that I... I feel guilty because I was raised by our mother and Lily was raised by somebody inferior. Me. Nora. Nora, it's not your fault your mom died. You can't coddle Lily her whole life. I know, I know. All right, sweetheart, I'll do something. I'll sit down and I'll talk with her. No, not just talk. We should start charging her rent. Really? But honey, how is she going to pay for it? Oh, yeah, right. A perfectly healthy young woman getting a job. <laughs> Out of the question. All right. I guess it's time for some tough love. But, Howie, please stay in the room with me while I talk to her. I need your support. Me? Yeah. Oh, I can't. Why? You know how I get when she starts crying? I mean, it's so pitiful. Her eyes get all moist, and then her, her little lip starts to tremble. I just want to hug her and tell her everything's okay. Oh, hey, guys. What do you think of this? TV weather girl. You have just made what I'm about to say so easy for me, Lily. Lily, you have not gotten any closer to pulling your life together than the day you moved in here. Nora, that is because I have had some setbacks. I mean, I really thought that I would be getting back together with Monty. And once I did, I realized that that was wrong. So now I have switched to plan B. Which is? Plan B is sitting on that couch and waiting for someone to come through the front door and save me. <laughs> I guess that's a little passive, huh? Lily, you've got to give your life some serious thought. I know. I mean, my God, all my friends have jobs and boyfriends. I mean, my God, some of them are married, have kids, lost their jobs, been divorced. <laughs> up to do yes you do lily and i'm just afraid that my indulging you is just contributing to this problem <laughs> look at the time i gotta go <gasps> hang in there pudding <laughs> All right, 
What's wrong? You're kicking me out, aren't you? Is that what you think? Oh, baby, come here. Now listen, you listen to me very, very carefully. I would never kick you oh. out of this house in my entire life. Promise? Oh, honey, I promise. Toast and a thermos, old borscht. You eat borscht? Oh, yes. I love all the beet dishes. Oh, why did I ask? Now I know another thing about you that will occasionally cross my mind. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are you eating your lunch in here? Oh, isn't that just typical? Just typical. Don't you remember? You agreed that today at lunch we would have our first staff meeting. When did I agree to this? At the Christmas party. Maybe you can't read your signature. You were a little looped. <laughs> hey, maybe this is a good idea. Come on, let's give it a try. Oh, goody, goody. All right. Okay, Debbie, Patrick, Doris, come on. Come on, gang. Warren wants us to have some kind Stones of a Doris over there, Debbie, Patrick. Come on, let's get this over with. <laughs> point of order, point of order. I am the chair. For those of you not familiar with parliamentary procedure, here is your own personal copy of Robert's Rules of Order. Warren, you are so anal. Just start the meeting, Warren. All right. I move that the meeting be called to order. Will someone second that motion? <laughs> can't believe this. We can't move forward until someone seconds the motion. Gee, what a threat. <laughs> all right, all right, I second the motion. I second the motion, Mr. Chairman. Let the record show that Nora Ruscio, henceforth referred to as Madam President, seconds the motion for the meeting to be called to order. Warren, what is it you wanted to talk Madam about? Madam President, you must properly obtain the floor before beginning debate. Warren, just start the meeting. Madam President, you're out of order. <laughs> the meeting is over. No, wait a minute. No, it's not over. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. No, don't leave. Don't leave. I will move the meeting be adjourned. I second the motion. Aye. All in favor? Yes. OK. I move the motion carry. <laughs> Nora. Hi. Here's the basket. Well, 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 another gift basket. Nora, I have to applaud your ability to come up with lame excuses to keep your sister in business. Yes, and they get lamer and lamer. Happy birthday, Warren. <laughs> mm. Thank you. <laughs> Nora. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> Can I give you a great big hug? Sure. Oops, I thought you were going to say no. <laughs> you see how happy your baskets make people, Lil? Yeah. Well, on the bigger and better things. Really? Like what? Oh, come on, Nora, that's just an expression. <laughs> Sit down, Lil. What are you crying about now? I don't know. It just seems like a good idea. <laughs> Lily, we've got to talk like adults. How can I do it when your nose is running and I want to help you blow it? <laughs> OK, what is it? Now, look, honey, I, I know you had it tough, but the point is you've got to learn to be self-sufficient. Oh, that's very interesting, Nora. Maybe if you hadn't coddled me my whole life, I would be that self-sufficient person you now suddenly, out of the blue, want me to be. <laughs> oh, my God, you're right. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry, Lily. I... Wait a minute. <laughs> Lily, this is all wrong. Now, look. If you are going to continue to live with Howie and me, things have just got to change. Change? Yes. For one thing, you, you, you've got to start paying some rent. What? You're saying that you want me to move out? No, no, no. Nobody said that. Oh, oh so now I'm nobody. No, huh? no, Lily, Lily, wait a minute. Hey, hey, that's fine. I will never ask you for anything ever again. No, no, Lily, let's hey, start. I will move my stuff out of your house. Goodbye. No, wait, wait, Lily, let's start. I didn't say you had to move out. Thank <laughs> you.
couldn't help overhearing that extremely ugly family scene. I really handled it badly. No, 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 not really. Sometimes the little bird has to be pushed from the nest. She'll either fly or splatter on the sidewalk. <laughs> Hello. Listen, Audie, something has happened that is very difficult for me. I, uh, I don't know how to begin to tell you about it. It involves... Lily. Yes. You see, she just left my office and... And you are both so very, very, very upset. Audrey, do not trivialize this. You have no idea what happened. This is so serious. Nor did you finally get up the nerve to kick her out? Well, not exactly, but you see, what I'm wrestling with is the fact that... You have smothered her with so much caring, she's turned into a non-functional person that's tough for us to be around. I wouldn't have put it exactly that way. Yeah, well, that's what you meant. <laughs> do you remember what that girl was like before she moved in and I got my loving hands on her? Sure I do. I mean, she saw me through some of my toughest times. You remember that time I gave up on you and she was so upset that she tricked us into meeting? She wouldn't let us leave until we hugged. <laughs> she has such a big heart, Odd. She still reads to those senior citizens three times a week. Although she did mention the other day that she thinks she's getting on their nerves. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you, I, I don't know why. You want me to give her the kick in the ass she so desperately needs? Would you? <laughs> sure. It's just that Lily is so frightened, Odd. She can't even take a little step. It's my love. You know, Odd, I love you too. Yeah, I know, Nora. Adds a little danger to my life. <laughs> oh, there's the doorbell. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. Nora kicked me out. Oh, gee, that's terrible. Where are you going to stay? <gasps> right, right. It was worth a shot, Lily. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> gonna use my arms. Gonna use my legs. Gonna use my style. Gonna use my, my, my imagination. Oh. I left yours. Don't you feel uncomfortable being in somebody else's place? You know, like you're invading their privacy? Sure, at first, but then I get over it. Well, well, see, I have a boyfriend now, and sometimes we do things we don't want other people to see. And like sometimes I even keep my eyes shut. I promise in the limited time I will be staying here, I will make every effort to stay out of your way. Oh, oh, sorry. Hi. Oh, gosh. Hi. Hello? Oh, I forgot it's your phone. <laughs> Hello. Hi, babe. I was just thinking about you. Your bulging pecs. <laughs> Is it Nora? <laughs> no, it, it, it's Sean. Oh, gosh. Tell him I say hi. Oh, Lily says hi. <laughs> yeah, she's here for the night. Oh, Ask him if he can come for dinner. Maybe I could run over there. Oh, why not? It's so close by. Hold on a sec. Would you mind going to the movies? Why can't you just be with me tonight when I need you? <laughs> it ain't gonna happen, Sean. I miss you, too. Bye. Audie, mm. you did the right thing. <laughs> dinner! Wow, this is really something. Huh? Thanks. I guess Nora just didn't appreciate me. I can't believe how she turned on me. You really think Nora turned on you? Yes, yes, I do. You have been sheltered since day one. First by Dad, then by Nora, then by Carlo and Monte and Nora again, and now me. Well, I'm not going to do it. Oh, my God, this is so good. This must be how you suck everybody in, right? I have had it a lot harder than you may think. Get off it. You're pretty, you're 
vulnerable and you have been awfully lucky. Well, even beautiful and vulnerable girls have their luck run out. I said pretty, not beautiful. <laughs> I knew what you meant, though. What are you gonna do, Lou? I don't know. I mean, whenever things got tough, there was always someone or something that I could fall back on, you know? And now I've burned all my bridges. And there's nobody. And I'm scared. There's somebody, there's you. No, I mean, there's nobody that can do anything for me. <laughs> Lily, you have to go out there and ask somebody for a job. You have to go into every store, every office, every restaurant and ask someone for a job. It'll be humiliating, people will say no, but eventually you will get one. Then you'll be into that whole rat race. Your life will still suck, it just won't suck in my apartment. <laughs> oh, well, I'm psyched. Nothing's gonna happen if you don't get off your ass. I probably should do that. Probably? Huh. Do it! Now! God, okay, I'm going! Great! I mean it, Audie. I mean it, I'm going. I admire your spunk, kid. Here's a key. Oh, and take my umbrella. It's got some holes in it, turns inside out a lot, but if you walk backwards, you'll stay dry. <laughs> So come right up. Uh, make that a single. Sorry. Gee, it sure smells good in here. <gasps> Anything I can help you with? Well, yes, uh, yes, you can. Um, do you have a? Ch I need a. <laughs> Could I get that cup of coffee? Because I need a nip of courage. Well, we have this kind of coffee that's so strong, you don't drink it. You just break the bean under your nose and sniff. <laughs> Boy, you know, as coffee jokes go, that was my big one. Huh? Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I just have a lot on my mind, and I'm not used to it. <laughs> okay, okay, here goes. Here goes what? Here goes. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, wow, a scone. It smells good, but I, I can't afford it. Ah, it's on the house. I dropped it on the floor earlier. <laughs> That's uh, the big scone joke. Oh! <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> so is this your place? Yep. I own it. I run it. I do the hiring and the firing. It's all mine. You do all the hiring and firing? Yep, again, why? No reason. <gasps> you know, maybe you should think about decaf. Um, oh, God, it's not that. It's just that, you know, I've been walking around this town all night in the rain, going into these stores, trying to get my courage up to do something that I haven't been able to do, so... Well, I think I should tell you, you only keep $20 of cash in the register. It's <laughs> a big hold-up joke, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for trying to cheer me up. Hey, whatever it is you want, whatever it is, whatever, I hope it happens. Yeah, me too. Thank you. of me, but I need a job. I mean, not necessarily here, but do you know anyone who would know someone who would know something about well, something, you know? I do need some help, but it takes someone with a special talent. Uh, my girlfriend and I broke up. Oh, no, I don't think I'd be interested in that. <laughs> no, no, I didn't 
haven't finished the sentence. Uh, my girlfriend used to make these gift baskets right here in the store, and uh, it was a big part of our business, and I'm just no good at it. some hoops with Paul Weckley down at the Y? Howie, how can you play basketball when you know I'm still so upset about Lily? Well, hey, I'm upset too, babe. I, I just think a little exercise will help me deal with that. Oh, by the way, the guys are coming over tonight for some poker. Howie. Again, coping, coping. <laughs> We've got to deal with it in our own way. The bed isn't even cold yet. What do you mean? I put a bed out in the garage to make room for the bumper pool table. <laughs> Do you expect me to feel bad about this? I mean, to tell you the truth, it's better for her, it's better for you, and most importantly, better for me. Hi, guys. Hello. Gifts for everyone. I can't stay. Got to get back to the city to my new job. <laughs> what? I knew you were going to say that. That's why I said job extra loud. <laughs> Honey, a job? What kind of job? Oh, God, it's a great job in my area of expertise. Well, I'm stumped. I will be making gift baskets for a store-wise guy. Lily, this is fabulous! And I think that you guys are right about charging me rent. Wow, great! How much do you think I should pay? $2,500 a month. <laughs> Nora, I owe it all to you. I want to thank you for beating me up. Oh, <laughs> Lily, I'm just so sorry. It took me so long. Oh, so you live and you learn. <laughs> oh, thank well. you. 